I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on application of sign law. Now in this question we are taking a situation where the sailor sees a lighthouse and he needs to find out what is the path for the shortest distance. Let's look into this question in details. The question here is a sailor out in a lake sees two lighthouses 11 kilometer apart along the shore and gets bearing of 285 degrees from his present position for lighthouse A and 237 degrees for lighthouse B. From lighthouse B, lighthouse A has a bearing of 45 degrees. How far is the sailor from both lighthouses? What is the shortest distance to the nearest tenth of kilometer from the sailor to the shore? That's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestions. Now in these questions, it is very important to sketch fairly good accurate diagram. That helps to provide a solution. So let's understand few things. That is first bearing angle. So whenever you say bearing of 285 degrees, what do that mean? Bearing of 285 degrees. Well, the bearing angle is always the angle from the north, right? So I'll try to sketch this here. We have very limited space, but I think we'll manage in this. So just make your coordinate points like this, where we'll treat north always right on top of the paper like this. Now, when I say that the bearing angle is 285 degrees, it really means if you start from here, that is 90, 180, 270. So it's slightly more than this, right? So, so you could go like this along this side, maybe, maybe this much, right? So that becomes 285 degrees, right? So let me write this as 285 degrees. And it is along this direction that we have both position of the lighthouse A, right? In this case, position of lighthouse A is in this direction. So let me uh, just sketch this uh, using some other ink, right? So let's say this. So we have this angle kind of like this. So let me just sketch this. So that becomes the position of A, right? Now, so from north to 85 degrees brings us to this position, which we'll write A here. Then it says, from his present position for lighthouse A, that is 285 degrees, and 237 degrees for lighthouse B. So lighthouse B is at 237. So 237 will be more than 180, right? So, uh, okay. Uh, let me make this angle with a different ink. So now we'll just do, do like this. It may cross this kind of thing, right? So let's say this much, right? So that is 237 degrees, right? So more than uh, 180 degrees but less than 270, right? So somewhere along this line. So let me just make a line here, somewhere along this line. So that is somewhere along this line, we have lighthouse B, correct? Now, the second statement here is, from lighthouse B, lighthouse A has a bearing of 45 degrees, right? So, so from B, A has a bearing of 45 degrees. That is kind of important. So, so if I have to sketch A has an angle of 45 degrees, I may have to go further down. Do you see that? And then somewhere here, I may have to draw my coordinate plane kind of like this. And this becomes 45 degrees from north. Do you see that point? So uh, let me sketch it. So, so what I'm trying to say here is that A is at 45 degrees from B. Do you see that? So this angle here, say this is 45 degrees. So that is the second. From lighthouse B, so we'll call this as B for us. 
from lighthouse B, lighthouse A has a bearing of 45 degrees. You get the idea. So that is how you get your triangle. This is in the horizontal plane, let's say the sea level, right, or the lake level in this particular case. So I hope this triangle is clear. Now read, let's read this question once again to put this 11 kilometer also in perception. A sailor out in a lake sees two lighthouses 11 kilometers apart. So the distance between A and B is 11 kilometers. Correct? Along the shore and gets bearing of 285 degrees from his present position. Let's say this position, which is present position, we are saying O. Bearing of 285 degrees from his present position for lighthouse A and 237 degrees for lighthouse B, right? So 237 for B. From lighthouse B, lighthouse A has a bearing of 45 degrees. So I hope the drawing is absolutely correct. So this is 50% of your solution, okay? Now we need to uh, analyze this diagram and then figure out how far is the sailor from both lighthouses. That means we have to find distance AO and BO, perfect. That's the question. Now, it's not that difficult. It's simple application of sine law, right? But once you get the right figure, it should not be so difficult. You can pause at this stage, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Also, now let me sh show you, uh, share some light on the second part of this question also, which is, what is the shortest distance to the nearest tenth of kilometer from the sailor to the shore? So basically what we have learned here is they are along the shore. So shore is kind of like this, right? So shortest distance you can see from this point should make 90 degrees angle, right? So that should give you the shortest distance. So you have to also find the point C. So that completes this question. This is an excellent question. I'd like you to take your time, solve this, and then look into my suggestion, okay? Let's see how to solve such questions. So let's begin by find that angle first. Now this angle which is angle AOB, so I'll use the space whichever I have here. So angle AOB should be equal to 285 minus 237, right? 285 minus 237 and that is equals to all everything is in degrees. So okay, so we'll use calculator 285 minus 237 equals to 48 degrees okay so this angle is 48 degrees for us so now we know this angle and the side opposite so we can easily find those two sides using sine law perfect so we can say oa let's find oa first so we have oa <coughs> okay now we have to find another angle also so what we'll do here now is since we know now this triangle, we know only one side which is 11 kilometers and we, we need to know another angle also. We'll analyze this further. How do we do so? So let's see this yellow line going here. Here you see this east-west direction and east-west direction, they're always parallel and therefore this particular line will make this angle which is, which is that much how much is this angle? So, so let me uh, number this so that I could really tell you. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, 237 is, let's find this angle first, right? So how much is this angle? Let me take a point here. Uh, okay, so let me extend this. <laughs> that will help, right? Let's say point D, right? So what I'm trying to say first is, we need to find that angle, right? which is, do you see this total angle is 237, right? So 237 take away 180 gives me that much of the angle, correct? So what I'm saying here is, is that the angle, okay, should I write here? Okay, let me rewrite. So the, the angle, let me write right here, angle, uh, B O D B O D is equal to what? Angle BOD is 237 minus 180. Is that clear? 
is 237 minus 180 degrees. Is that okay? So let's figure this out. So it is 237 minus 180 degrees and that is equals to 57 degrees. So this is 57 degrees for us. Is it okay? Okay, let me write down 57 degrees. Correct. Now, what I was saying is this angle here, 57 degrees, is alternate interior angle that much. So I should say this, right? So this is also 57 degrees. Okay. Now, if that is so, what is the angle ABO? ABO, right? So let me write down angle ABO is equal to how much? ABO. It will be 57 minus 45. Is it okay? 57 minus 45 degrees. Correct? And that is 12 degrees. So we get this angle as 12 degrees. You get the idea. So you, from the given situation, find these angles. This is very tricky. So use this parallel lines and alternate angles to figure it out. But I hope now the concept is clear, right? So we have found this angle, 12 degrees. Now we'll use the similar sine law, right? Now in this triangle, triangle AOB, we know two angles, 48 degrees and 12 degrees. We know one side, which is 11. So we can find each side. Okay, um, let me write down what this angle is also before we get into, that's okay, 180 minus 12, take away 48, right? So that is 120 degrees. So this is 120 degrees. So we have all the angles of this triangle. Now it's easy. So OA over sine of 12 degrees is equal to what is known to us, 11 kilometers, which is a B right so I'll just write 11 kilometers 11 over sine of 48 sine of 48 degrees is that clear that's the opposite side correct so that gives you OA so we can say what OA is O is uh, sine 12 over sine of 48 degrees times 11 right times 11 times 11 so let's find out how much it is so we'll do 11 times sine of 12 degrees divided by sine of 48 degrees. Is it okay? And that gives us the distance as equal to 3.077. Okay. 3.077, right? So that's what we get. So approximately, you can say 3 kilometers. So we found this kilometer, this to be 3 kilometers, right? Let's say let's say 3.1 let's round them to one decimal place okay 3.1 kilometers similarly we can find OB so what is OB equals to so OB once you apply the sine law same thing so you could also say this is like OB over I'm just saving space right so okay so when we want to find OB we are looking at this angle 120 right so it is sine of 120 degrees so that's a complete statement so OB is 11 times sine 120 okay sine 120 divided by sine 48 sine 48 degrees so let me just check this out so it is 11 times sine of 120 divided by sine of 48 which is equals to 12.81 so let me write this as 12.8 right kilometers everything is kilometers so we get that distance also 12.8 it makes some sense because this angle is 120 this is just 12 so that's fine so we got these two so we had done part a so we know the distances are uh, 3.1 kilometers and 12.8 kilometers perfect so we have done the first part. So major difficulty which you may have is to sketch this diagram. And that's why we took so much time in sketching. Once you sketch, you have to find all these angles just as we did here. Now let's look into the second part, which I think is another very, very critical part of this question and could have been taken as an independent question. Okay, there is what is the shortest distance to the nearest tenth of kilometer from the sailor to the shore? So the shortest distance has to be OC, which makes 90 degrees. These are not short distances because here you see the angles 120 or you can say 60 
not 90 right so basically to find the shortest distance we can solve for this triangle where we know one side is 3.1 right so we know one side we have to find that side so <clears throat> let me redraw this particular diagram right here so we have it here this is my line which is OC and then I'm just connecting this to the the other part that's the straight line and then we have the third line which is OA right so let me just make slightly bigger not that messy as we already have there so what we have here is <coughs> the point O is right there then we have C here and then we have A here correct and this angle is given to us as 120 degrees we just found right this is 120 degrees and therefore this should be 180 minus 120 60 degrees perfect this is a right angle and we know this side which is 3.077 to be precise I hope that was the number I think is yes? which we rounded to 3.1 you could do that since we want one decimal place here anyway let me take 3.077 to be more precise so what is CD is simple right triangle this time and we want to see the opposite side of this right so so we could write CD the shortest distance as I have explained you should be equal to I mean uh, 3.077 sine of 60 degrees correct sine of 60 degrees that is what it is right as you can see it's a right angle triangle therefore what is sine 60 let me write here sine 60 degrees is equal to opposite side CD divided by the hypotenuse which is AO is it okay so when you cross multiply CD will be AO which is 3.077 times sine 60 right so that's what I wrote okay so let's figure this out so it is 3.077 times sine 60 degrees okay and that is how much 2.66 so that gives us 2.66 66 kilometers if you round this it'll be 2.7 kilometers to one decimal place so that becomes the shortest distance of the sailor from the shore right so I hope you understand all the steps it's a very good question and I feel so good about sharing it with you if you like it you can put likes on this video share and subscribe with your friends and post such questions which provides me with an opportunity to share solutions. I'm Anil Kumar. All the best to you. Thank you for your time.